One of the things I love about being a public affairs sergeant in the Missouri National Guard is getting the chance to share some of our military heroes' stories. The Public Affairs Office was privileged to host a press conference for a World War I Medal of Honor recipient. Here's the story of Sergeant William Shetman. It can be simply told in 11 words. Discrimination hurts. A wrong has been made right. All is forgiven. When Elsie Shemin Roth, the daughter of Army Sergeant William Shemin, was just a young girl, she learned that due to discrimination, her father never received the medal that he deserved. He remained in very close contact with a gentleman named Jim Pritchard. He was an Irishman, an Irish cop, and he was one of the three men that my father had saved. And so I was sitting on the porch with Jim one day, and he, I was about 12, and he said to me, you know, I think you would understand this now. And we were talking about my father and a little bit about the war. And he said, your father, your father never received the medal that he deserved because he was a Jew. In 2002, Elsie learned about a newly established congressional review process for any Jewish or Hispanic American who received the Distinguished Service Cross during or after World War II. Although Elsie's father fought in World War I, she did not believe it would be a problem for the Army to review her father's case. I went to many politicians. The rule is World War II. I said, then explain to me, what is the difference of anti-Semitism between World War I and World War II? Explain that to me. Nobody could explain it. Elsie decided to seek counsel from the Jewish war veterans who put her in touch with Colonel Erwin Burtnick, an expert on awards and decorations. After Colonel Burtnick reviewed Sergeant Shemin's Distinguished Service Cross Citation, he told Elsie she had something special and should get in touch with her local congressman. With the help of Congressman Blaine Lukemeyer, and after 13 years of hard work, Elsie received a call from the president. Why was I honored? I was so honored. I sat in my kitchen all by myself after having all my cats are there. And I said to my cats, guess what? I just spoke to the president. <laughs> and they looked at me, oh, so what, you know. <laughs> but I called all my kids because we didn't expect this. Sergeant William Shemin enlisted in the Army at age 18 and by 19 was experiencing trench warfare. Sergeant Shemin was a rifleman for the 4th Infantry Division during combat operations against the enemy in France. During the summer of 1918, in broad daylight, Sergeant Shemin left the cover of his platoon's trench three times and crossed open space, repeatedly exposing himself to heavy machine gun fire and rifle fire to rescue his comrades. After officers and senior non-commissioned officers had become casualties, Shemin took command of the platoon and displayed great initiative under fire until he was wounded. Sergeant Shemin received the Distinguished Service Cross for Battlefield Valor December 29, 1919 and with the help of his daughter and other concerned citizens, was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor on June 2, 2015. The vision that I hope was true, I hope it wasn't a dream, but maybe dreams are real. I saw my father when this announcement came. The president said yes, and sitting in a chair, much as I am, he's big, and his head was down, and he was looking down. Oh. There were tears coming out of his eyes, and I knew what it was. He knew. He was so proud, he never said a word. And that is exactly, if he were here, how he would say it. President Barack Obama honored two World War I soldiers with Medals of Honor, Sergeant Shemin, a Jew, and Private Henry Johnson, an African American. The president said it was long overdue, and the nation will work as long as it takes to make sure all of its hero stories are told. Well, Elsie, as much as America meant to your father, he means even more to America. It takes our nation too long sometimes to say so, uh, because Sergeant Shemin served at a time when the contributions and heroism of Jewish Americans in uniform were too often overlooked. But William Shemin saved American lives. He represented our nation with honor. And so it is my privilege, on behalf of the American people, to make this right and finally award the Medal of Honor 
to Sergeant William Shemin. Staff Sergeant Elise Rich, Missouri Air National Guard, Jefferson Barracks, Missouri.